Hello, people, and <laughs> welcome to me with a cold, to me with a chesty cough, and to me trying to do a thing where you do a lot of talking. <laughs> Which, if you've ever <clears throat> had a chesty cough, you'll know that is virtually impossible and leads to death. But I thought <clears throat> that this was a good idea, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> I am playing a game that quite frankly, it scares me. And that game is Paw Patrol Please Mighty Pups Save Adventure Bay. Save symbol. It's basically acid for the eyes. And <laughs> you're going to see why very shortly. But I've just realized that I forgot completely to sync my sound up to this recording. So one second while I go into that. All right. So while I was messing around in the settings, going to and fro menus just so I can sync up my sound, I noticed something. Ryder, who is the 11-year-old in control of super-powered high-tech puppies that can talk, reads out the main menu. So as you scroll down, he reads out the main menu. He doesn't read out extra, and he doesn't read out an option inside of settings called other. And when I noticed this, it annoyed me. I'm gonna skip past this till I find something else to rant about. I guess now would be a good time to explain what Paw Patrol is to the people out there who don't know what it is. The last bastion of humanity Adventure Bay has been watched over by an 11 year old child and eight super powered high tech dogs. They have complete control of all the emergency services and often have to rescue a chicken. Sometimes a guy in a top hat. So we've done the informative stuff, now let's get into gameplay. These are the missions I've done, and the mission over here is the mission we're going to do, which looks like we're saving Jake from a tombstone that's about to rapture him. Why I've done so many missions before the recording, I don't know, and I am actually a little bit worried about that. Oh, the cinematic started. This this is a silent non-dialogue cinematic where the dogs run into a lift and they go up uh, they get changed into their super stuff. I don't know. I don't know how the dogs get trained or changed or whatever. Things shine, things d get done and one of them speaks Spanish, I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know, but we're about to watch the worst V-Sync in the world. Also, listen out because he doesn't actually finish all of his dialogue before it skips to the next bit sometimes. So let's let's just watch. This is, this is great. Just like that! Now, now I ain't clicking any buttons here. Can you hear clicking buttons? No, I'm not clicking anything. It just doesn't finish the sentences sometimes. Whoever was doing the QA on that really, really messed up. I don't know what the mission is! You didn't tell me anything! All I know is Jake, it's, it's, uh, we need to get and that's it. It didn't finish anything! Now they all go down a slide and get in a VTOL. It's... <laughs> Why do they need the dogs? He's got all this equipment for himself. Anyway. <laughs> I find it... <laughs> Who gave him the budget for this? This is why I think it's the last bastion of humanity. Because nobody else is out there who's responsible enough to fly an aircraft. Which, let's face it, is quite expensive. Upside of this game is, though, it's got a fantastically quick loading time. Three, two, one, go! Wait, weren't we one, on the VTOL a second? Go. How do I control this? Oh, <laughs> the tutorial has arrived. Use left or right move, sky left or right, and then then right follow the path. There, 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 there. Right now, I'm just gonna click on next, next, next. Uh, okay, so it doesn't want to go next. I don't know what to do. <laughs> next. All right. Ah, turbo. it did it. And turbo. I I didn't click anything that time. I'm, the game has started. Um. Okay, so I go. It didn't even mention these tunnels. Oh, it looks like that. Are they boosty tunnels? I mean, th okay, left or right? left. Okay, so I go left and right. Oh god, that's a little bit sensitive. Kids will not enjoy that. Kids tend to just smash the controller in one direction, don't they? Just like hold it there. But <laughs> this is like no, it needs to just gently nudge it. What happens if you hit a balloon? <laughs> that's it. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like that. It doesn't look like there's any. You don't lose anything. You just carry on going, it goes and at you. Okay, that's fine. I, get, I mean, yes, again, this is a kid's game, and you don't want the child to be screwing it up constantly with you over the shoulder going, you crap! You want it to just carry on going, so I kind of understand that. Why does she have to constantly spin while boosting? If I was, if I would never use the boost, I would be sick constantly. I would just be going, ah, bleh. And there would be chunder, there would be bits of carrot that I've never eaten, sweet corn. It would just be getting littered all over the country because when you press A, it's barrel rolls. And that is, quite frankly, 
Look at it. Just spin, 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 spin. How are you meant to know where you're going? No, that's a terrible idea. Just, no, no. I don't even like thinking about that. One or two spins is fine, but 75 every single time your whole day? No. <laughs> Just, no. I'm bored now. This has been going on for nearly two minutes and it's way too long for just going left and right a bit while collecting levitated cookies and avoiding balloons. And if I'm bored, a child will most certainly have given up and gone to play, I don't know, Snap or something. I don't understand the point in that mission. Why would you throw a dog out of a VTOL? And do you remember the VTOL? The thing we set off in? Why didn't we fly that? And also, did she even get on the aircraft? I'm pretty sure it was two other dogs that we set off with. I'm not going insane. I'm, I'm right in thinking that, aren't I? I mean, it wouldn't have been too difficult to have that instead of a dog with a jetpack, right? It would have also looked a little bit better, I think. And now we discover if I was right about the dogs as well. Yeah, she went in one of the dogs we sat off with. <laughs> the dogs of the game just went, here's another dog. It flies. There's a vague reference there. And then you land. You don't even play as her anymore. Anyway, Good now we're going to follow the guidance line out of the Fable games. Okay, that so what's this? They, is it really? Well done! Well done! It's a cliff! <laughs> Why did it just say it's a cliff? <laughs> it's 90 degrees Try vertical to what you are currently Use stood. I don't need it pointing out that it's a bit of a steep face. <laughs> Who thought putting that in was a good idea? <laughs> now I've just got to slowly sucker my way up the smoothest cliff I've ever seen. <laughs> Using suckers that if you listen to them very carefully... Do sound a bit like they've just gone, Hey Rich, you can make noises, can't you? Come here and just go... <laughs> a few times and we'll use one of those on loop until the end of the mission, okay? And he's just coming out and just going... All right. <laughs> Very happy with himself. Good job. <laughs> oh, thanks. Until you Wait, how did she get up here? Keep going. How did that one? The, the other dog. How? Did, I mean, she's the word specialist feet. Specialist feet? Like shoes or anything like that. I mean, I am. I'm wearing all the gear. She's just got a fleece on. How did, how did you get up here? What mysteries do I not know about this dog? Oh, 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 okay. Is that sort of game? Let's move the two randy puppies away from each other, shall we? <laughs> no, to self, do not make dog humping jokes in a kid's game. Now, excuse me while I hoover up every single dog biscuit in the entire game. Because I suffer from what apparently is collectible items. I will collect literally anything if it's a, in a Everest. game. I will collect all those feathers as Ezio. I will collect all those flags as Altair. Collect all those blocks as the Lego characters in the Star Wars games. Now, I'm sat here playing as a high-tech puppy, collecting ever so slightly luminous dog biscuits. We need Chase for this mission. That's not a mission, mate. That's Chase. just switching to a dog and pushing the button Y, then watching an animation of a dog hump dirt. Did I just use the word hump when describing something in a child's game? Yes, I did. <laughs> Does it bother me? Not as much as you think it should. Now, excuse me while I go and throw this dog off a cliff. Oh, you don't appear to be able to force your dog to the words, 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 words. What I was gonna say was it's a shame you can't force your dog to commit suicide, but I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. Ah, we've reached a checkpoint or mission or something. I I'll, I'll, I'll what? <laughs> I'll need chases Zip line. what? <laughs> Zipline, thank you for Use finishing your sentence. And the, the letter A is covering the final S in press. I'm not gonna lie, the quality of this game is a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's hardly a challenge sliding A from left to right. I mean, it would be if you were playing this game with nothing but your teeth or were blind, but still, you get the meaning. You, you slide from left to right, you press A, and then this little Great crap job. animation with the dun -dun -dun music plays, and it's just dull. It's not even visually appealing or colorful. This is a kid's game. It's meant to be all of those things. Oh, the camera's shaking because the ground What's clearly happening? isn't. <laughs> then if you don't know what's happening, why the hell should I know? He's a puppy. Oh, no. Oh, it's an avalanche. There's the mystery solved. That's the slowest moving avalanche I've ever seen. And please, finish your sentence! <laughs> Jeez! Wait, wait, is that an outfit change? What am I missing? Mighty Chase Race! Go left. It's the flying game, but on the ground while your dog poops out lightning. I, I, I get the funny feeling that I'm not going to be entertained by this mini-mission. 
And I wasn't wrong, this has been the dullest 30 seconds of gameplay so far, because nothing happens. It's, it's the flying mission all over again, and every now and then he jumps over invisible boulders, which is a little bit off-putting. The only nice detail is the music's ever so slightly muted. <laughs> I say that just to say, unmute! Shocker! Oh, it's, when did the bridge get destroyed? What? There was no boulders falling there! Please tell me you get to keep that the superpowers. Awesome. Be, nope, they won't involve me as well. And she's just waiting for the avalanche to end, because that's what sensible people do. The Keep fact going. that they made us Jake run through an avalanche for no reason at all is really annoying. If we'd have got to the other end before whatever that other dog is called and had to rebuild the bridge or help him across, would have been fine. But the fact we know he's got a sucker gun on him that gets him across large spaces means he could have waited. <laughs> Better still, they have a VTOL and a flying dog. I mean, there's absolutely no strategic or logistical reason why he is up here and not, say, the flying one and the mountaineering dog that we're with. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm just going to say, shocker, the path oh, no. is blocked. The road is blocked. <laughs> Told you so. Use your Yay, we're going to use Mighty Pup powers. I wonder what they're going to make me do this time. What powers does she have that can help us? Ah. <laughs> they're going to use a completely different dog that has had no... No input on this whatsoever. <laughs> and there's the flying one. Why would you need jetpack if you've got wings? Okay, so... <coughs> Mighty what? Pups, go! So we've got two superpowered dogs that have had no involvement in this so far and have no idea where they've come from. And now you get to control them, which sounds a little bit interesting. So now we've got two superpowered dogs and they've actually... They're in their outfits, look. So we get to use the powers, but... I, I guess you're off the edge of the world there, which is great, but... I'm also noticing that you, th they're not using any abilities. It's just dogs in outfits still. Sky. So the flying one doesn't fly, and the flame on one won't flame. So what this game has be just become is a <coughs> costume party for some <laughs> dog cookie collection simulator. I'm loving the sheer number of tutorials that we're getting. It's like every other screen. Tutorial, tutorial. And this one has a visual problem in it as well, because next to move icon covers the eye slightly. What was the point of the tutorial screen if it's all on screen now? Just have the kid shout at you when that's on screen. That was the shortest amount of gameplay. I'm trying not to get angry at this. I'm really trying, but it's really difficult. There's a lot of... I don't understand. Uh, did the game load slightly before the tutorial there? I think it did. And also, there is no point in this screen. We've already seen that all the button prompts are displayed on the main screen. So just have that with him saying the words over that, right? Right? And four, five, six button presses, and it does it. That's not gameplay. That's time wasting. And I'm pretty sure I could think up some more creative, ingenuitive, entertaining, and rewarding way to time waste than pushing the letter A on a game controller nine times to make a poorly animated puppy do a very badly graphicked Hadouken flame on thing. Right? Another I'm not the only one who thinks this, right? I wonder what happens if you just switch Everest. between the two dogs constantly and forever. Just, do they freak out after a while? Does Chase, the boy in the background Everest, go, stop Chase, it! Everest, stop doing Chase, this to me! Everest, Chase, no? Everest, Chase, I also Everest, like how the biscuits Chase, change colors Everest, and the dog you play with. That's a nice Everest, thing. Chase, but, Everest, yeah, Everest, no. Chase, oh, Chase, but also Everest, when you switch between them, they like, raise up on the back legs Chase, like you're giving them like a Everest, pat on the head Chase. or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's nice! See? See? I can be positive about the game! I did it! Are you proud of me? What? Awesome. You oh found the first no, badge. it's another collectible. It's a badge. I only have the one. I need all three. Oh, my collectivitis is kicking in. I, I want to, I missed one. Oh no, I'm going to have to play this mission again so I have all of them, aren't I? No. 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 Uh, woo. I managed to resist the need to go <laughs> back and do a collectibles one. I really did. It took a lot of restraint. Uh, but while I was shaking with the need, I came up with a really good thought. What happens if, because of that avalanche, the kid we're going to save is dead? It's just washed off the side of the mountain like the rest of the crowd. <laughs> Get to the top and say, oh no, we were too late. <laughs> I, mean, I shouldn't find the concept of somebody dying tragically so entertaining. I just think it'd be a nice realistic touch, that's all. Oh, he's not dead. Go up to 
No, I'm going to say this now. I am a little bit disappointed by that. Oh, another tutorial. These things are making up for a good two thirds of gameplay so far. Oh, God, it's those two dogs that keep on turning up. And now she's in a helicopter. So she's had a jetpack, she's got wings, and now she's got a helicopter. They spent way too much money on her. Oh, God, another tutorial. I was beginning to wonder when I'd next see one of those. It's been at least two minutes, so I was beginning to miss them. Okay, so let's press Y. Press Y. Press Y. No, press Y. Mash Y. Mash, 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 mash. Yeah. Ah, you have to mash it. Don't hold it. You have to mash it. Hey, look. <laughs> X-ray crush. <laughs> Don't make pervy jokes in a kid's game. Anyway, let's find the other places. There we go. It, we, we did scan his whole leg before, but well it, we only found the injury scanning see. down. I think let's we found a glitch in his X-ray machine there. Don't you? <sighs> well, mission complete. Jake, Jake is safe and sound. I don't think so, Penis is still on the mountain! Only one badge found. A statistic that will haunt me forever. <laughs> Judge me all you want on that fact. All the real gamers amongst you will know exactly what I'm on about. <laughs> so that was me playing Paw Patrol Mighty Pups Save Adventure Bay. I think that was the name of the game. I can't remember. It was something along those lines. Puppies become super powered briefly and then you do some saving or... <laughs> I, I think that's a, uh, that, that's the general gist. You get the idea. Uh, oops, my mouse appears to have broken. So that cursor's stuck on the screen now. <laughs> Just try and ignore that while I finish up. <laughs> what I was going to say was, as I've been playing this game, it's been making me angrier and angrier because it's incredibly lazy. I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> on the screen now, instance, the video on the left, no icons in those circles. The A overlaps the comma and the analog stick icon overlap the A. And that was just that one screen. <laughs> I couldn't have timed that or planned that any better. This game is a blatant cash grab using the Paw Patrol and the Mighty Pups titles because people in business know that kids buy things because they're related in any way to what they enjoy. <laughs> The kids go to their parents, can I have this, can I have this, please, it's Paw Patrol, I love Paw Patrol, the parents have been nice, buy it, not knowing that it's hunk of tat. A, a child requires three things in order to develop, which is challenge, stimulus, and reward, and this game, honestly, doesn't have any. I did two side quests back to back, you'd think that was like two minutes or a minute of gameplay. Fifteen seconds, eight button presses later, I didn't see a single animation, I didn't hear a single sound, and it was only after about fifteen seconds of something not happening that I got a very small ditty and some dogs bounced on screen. There is no reason to have this game. You own it, play it with them, give them some sort of stimulus to encourage them, and give them reasons to be alive and to develop as human beings. If you don't have it, avoid it like the plague. Buy something Paw Patrol related like pajamas or a coloring book or an extra sketch. Something that when the child does it and plays with it and uses it, it's actually worthwhile because there's none of that here. Now, now I'm not going to rant much longer. So. <laughs> I, that felt so good to get out. I could go on for so much more about how crap this is. But anyway, I'm going to say thank you for watching. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.